God bless you beautiful people on YouTube and on Facebook and to the whole wide world. Well, the Lord was just pricking me in my heart. I was getting ready to change clothes and you can see I didn't even have my jacket on, but I had to get back on it because it was on my heart through the Spirit of God just pricking my heart to come back on here and let you guys know today that God loves you guys. It don't matter what you're doing, God loves you. And He wants me to let you know, I don't care what kind of state you're in, God loves you. And listen, take care of your life. This is 2022. We have a lot of stuff going on with the world. But I guarantee if you follow what I'm getting ready to tell you, you even go through this and come through this out smelling like a rose. If you just pay attention to your life, what's going on in your life. Don't worry about nobody's life. Don't worry about your family members, your, your, your cousins, your co-workers, your friends. Uh, and I'm not saying be selfish, but I'm just saying concentrate in 2022 on what you can do for God first. How can I change my life to be better? I don't know this much about God, but I do know this, that I'm watching people that do have a relationship with the Lord and their lives seem to be at least more smoother than the chaos and the trouble and the fighting and the arguing and not having enough money all the time that I'm going through. God will bring you where you are balanced if you trust in him, believe in him, and have faith. And I know I look just like old regular preacher. That's that guy that preached. And, but I have a life. When I get off of here, I have to go play the electric bill. When I get out of here, I got to go pay the gas bill. I got to put gas in my car. I got to go to the grocery store. I don't have the way. I do have my church helping me with a lot of stuff. But at the same time, I'm still a man. So let's throw off the pastor right now. I'm a man just like you're a man. And you're a woman out there. We are human beings. And I'm just letting you know that the Bible is not set up to play no games with you. It's up to let you know that all the chaos we're going through, all the stuff we're trying to accumulate, all the houses we want, all the big fancy cars, all the money we want, and that's basically all we talk about, sex, money, and power, and, and drugs. But we need Jesus Christ in our life. And once you do that, and just be a good person in your spirit, what you know to be good, be good. And what you know to, to be bad, don't do it. Okay? So once you do that, God start already understanding because he's our father. He knows you like you know your children. If you have children, you know them when they lie. You getting them cookies? No. Well, where are them cookie crumbs coming? Why are them cookies all over your mouth? And why are you holding a cookie bag if you not if you didn't wasn't in there? We start off lying and never was taught that. There's no class in that we teach you how to lie. There's no class that tells you, I teach you how to steal. You do that on your own. That is the things of evil. So what we have to do to change your life. I told you, I ain't, I'm not no pastor now. I'm just talking to you. I'm kicking to you real. First thing you got to do is go to that mirror and look at yourself and tell yourself, I have to do better. I don't care if Leroy is not helping me with the babies. I don't care if I don't have that big old job. I'm going to take that uh, $11 hour job. I'm going to start putting me 20 bucks up. I'm going to, my God, I'm going to save me some money. I'm going to start doing the right things. I'm going to make positive uh, choices because here's the thing. Babies come out looking normally like their parents. Then they die looking like their decisions. Let me say that again. Babies normally come out looking like their parents, but people die looking like their decisions. So make good decision, accurate decision, know who he's about, do a resume on his life. How did he treat the girl before? What did she do in the first relationship? Was she good to her boyfriend? You have to check this, these things out and ask yourself, do I want to be involved there? Watch what your friends got in their pocket. This is not no warning Friday, just, just me, just bring it to you real as I can. God pricked my heart to come back on there and let you guys know that he loves you. And it's time to really pay attention to your life and pray to God. Seek his first face first. Wake up in the morning and say, Lord, I don't know that much about you, but I know it's something about you because I don't know how no trees came. I don't know how you made the stars. I don't know about the moon and believe it, there's no factory doing it. So God was uh, already know what he was going to do in our lives. So put God first in your life, and I guarantee your life will straighten out. 
I just had to bring it to you much as I could. God bless you all.